a model, a Gen AI model, takes some input and generates output through a predictive means. It predicts what we expect to see as the output, and it generates it. An agent can do stuff. Uh, and in that, it can exert some level of autonomy. Let me give you an example. So we all know that Gen AI is really good at writing code. So depending on the complexity of the task, if I go to a Gen AI model and I ask it to write some code, it will generate some reasonable code that I can use. Now what if I do the same with a Gen AI-based agent? It can write the code, run it in a container, review the runtime, potentially if there are runtime issues, it can fix them in the code, and then get back to me. So right there you can see by doing, which in this case is defined by actually running the code that it generates, it can iterate on the code and improve it. So you can see how powerful this concept can be, the concept of agents. In fact, to the point where Gartner believes that the future of AI is in multi-agent-based systems. In fact, not only do we agree with that, we think it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And we're going to be at the forefront of that. Um, let, let me show you an example uh, of, uh, of that. In this case, it's a life-changing event. And I'm getting married. And what you're seeing here is these chatbots starting to talk to each other. That chat, top chatbot might not even know that there is a legal advice uh, functionality in the system, and it doesn't have to know. All it needs to do is check that query against the two, the, all of these, uh, and maybe procurement is gonna say, well, it has nothing to do with me, but the agents that do will come back. They may in turn actually consult with their downchain agents and ultimately get back to me, and it's very helpful because, yeah, I'm getting married, therefore I need some legal advice, my payroll is gonna change, potentially my, my benefits are gonna change, and this consolidated view is gonna make me much more productive. Let me actually switch to a demo. Here we go, I have the Asian network for, for the banking, and I can actually interact with this system, so I can say something like, let's say, um, uh, I need a better loan um, because I have a larger net worth. Is that, is that something? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so what you're gonna see here is these agents communicating with each other. They're actually talking to each other to see which agent or agents are going to have to talk to us. You, you can see the discussions between the agents. These discussions are in natural language. It, it's amazing to sit down and actually just look at what they're saying to each other. And when they are done talking, looks like they're really chatty, um, <laughs> they're gonna come back to us in a moment and uh, this uh, customer service representative is going to um, formulate a response back so there is, there is this whole response that you can see has uh, brought in elements from the various different agents and uh, this one unified response back to me. And, and so you can hopefully already imagine where we're gonna go with this in the future as we are agentifying uh, our, our organizations. <laughs>